We're in a case containment facility in South Sudan. If somebody presents with symptoms of guinea worm infection, they're brought here and then they're treated until the worm emerges. It's really very painful to have this thread worm being pulled along that very inflamed, very hot skin. So you can only pull a certain amount per day or per episode where you try. It takes these worms weeks to come out, sometimes one or two months to come out. It's a terrible thing, but it can be prevented completely. Okay, ask her. The first one in my opinion. When we find a case, it is very important to prevent the patient from passing the disease to others by contaminating water sources with the worm. So we need to determine if this person is contaminating water source, where is that water source? She was here. Then on her way to Capueta, mm. the heating and the swelling started on the way. Okay. Then she decided to take a rest. Then the following day she went to the garden and that is where the worm emerged. So these are the streams that passes through gardens? Yeah. So this is where we are now? That is where we are. Mm -hmm. And in this garden, we had a case last year in April, and again this year in April. So our suspicion comes that this is the side that we have a problem. The first thing that we are doing about it is try to encourage filter use by showing people exactly what was backwashed from the filter. And when you ask them to drink what is here, they will say, no, we will not bring this. And then you can turn around and say, OK, that's exactly what you drink anyway, if you don't filter the water. Guinea worm disease was neglected from the beginning because it was out in the back of the yard among people that themselves were neglected. Now we're down to less than 99.9%, .9%, but we're aiming for zero, and we're not yet at zero.